Good morning everybody, it's me again, the gardener in Canada, I mean Filipino gardener in Canada. Today it's different because I'm going to show you my homemade canning. Uh, lemon cucumber because that is um, uh, yun ang available nung time na yun last year kasi na ubos na yung um, del pickle ko na ano na maliliit na cucumber so I try this and it's really good also so this one is bread and butter um, you can you can even put this in the bread and it's really good I always eat this because it's I like the flavor it's it's not it's sour and sweet it's a really good combination and it's um it's, it's a little spice also they have a spice in it and it's really nice yeah and i have also the same one so this one is a it's the regular cucumber those one that i use the pickle pickle del pickle cucumber so this is what i use but you can use also as a slice for the for um bread and butter so yeah so this is the same but the cucumber is different and so this is the one that i'm this is the one that i'm telling you that it's a dill cucumber so this one is popular because people likes it especially when you have uh, a meat like uh, sausage or just for the appies appetizer you just have a slice in it and it's yum it's really good yeah so this is one of i make i made it so usually i made about 50 jars and and um, about uh, I'm gonna say 50 jars uh, 30 pounds of um, Dell uh, del pickling cucumber so I don't buy it because I grow my own and then even I sell all the cucumber also so whatever left I make uh, uh, del cucumber so that's what um, I also uh, have an herb like dill and uh, garlic so it's from the garden and it's it's healthy yes and also I make salsa so this one is um, I have flavor like um, I mean not flavor like spice like i have medium hot i got mild hot and i got uh like spicy spicy hot so i have three i mean four like mild hot um uh, medium hot and then like spice like spice like spicy hot or something like that yeah so that what i have this um I started to do canning because one time I have so many tomatoes and I'm like I don't want to throw this away so I'm thinking why I'm gonna try this so first I use tomato sauce spaghetti sauce so I used that I use the tomato so I have a lot of that but I don't sell it because I use with our own like I use my husband used a lot of tomato sauce so I just saved that for us so in the winter time we have tomato sauce so we don't need to buy anything right so that's why I do that and then one year I mean three years ago I did salsa so this is my own recipe so um, 
I just make up a recipe and then I try and then the next year I put it in my in my uh, fruit stand and people love it so they order me like how did I make it and then I just tell this recipe for them and then they said that they want to try so that's what so this but is still ordering me like a salsa so yeah right so why you throw away if you have leftovers so just make up and then make up and then make money right there you go and i have oh i mean this one i sell this for seven dollars this one so i have also a smaller one this one the same one salsa I sell this for six twenty five, but I have some customer that they order like fifty jars, thirty jars, um, fifteen. So I give a discount. So r rather I sell um, six twenty five, I sell them for five fifty, right? If you if you buy like more than a dozen so that's what my my deal is and this bread and butter pickle i sell this for eight fifty dollars a jar yeah and it's very cheap though yeah and uh this one my dill pickle i sell this for eight dollars yeah and I have also beets. I don't know Filipino if they don't. I don't know Filipino if they know beets, but I'm sure a lot of Filipinos around the world they know about beets. So this is pickle beets, and um, it's really good. It's healthy. Um, beets is really healthy in our body, and um, I make this. Because my husband eat a lot of pickle beets, so this is also uh, my own my own recipe. So I I just make up, you know, like just try your own, and then if people likes it, just continue doing it, right? That's what happened. Yeah, this is some um, pickle beets. Yeah, and um, there you go. I make also sun-dried tomato, sun-dried tomato in virgin olive oil. So guys, this is easy to make. If you have an oven, you can make your own um, sun-dried tomato very easy to make so mine because i don't want to like i don't want to put my tomato outside so mine i did is in the night after my after my work outside in my garden so in the night i spent three hours i cut my tomato like a uh, roma tomato this is roma tomato i cut it take the seeds off and then put in the in the cookie sheet in the yeah you put in the cookie sheet like you know slice it so like whole tomato you slice that half and then take the uh, take the seeds off and then you're just laying into the cookie sheet and then put in the oven for 15 hours with the really low temperature mine is uh i think it's 200 degree celsius in my in my oven so when i woke up in the morning my tomato is dry so that's what happened i just tried that too nobody tell me i just tried it because i have so many tomato that's what you know when you have so many you don't want to throw away you, you just i can't i can't do it to away those foods so that's what i i learned so yeah this is sun dried tomato. Mm -hmm. See? So that's, um, you guys, if you have lots of Roma tomato, don't use 
uh, like the big beep uh, another early girl don't use those because those are uh, watery they have lots of water so I recommend if you want to make your own sun-dried tomato use um, aroma tomato they are perfect for sun-dried tomato and also I have another one this one is sun-dried cherry tomato so cherry tomato they have I have two kinds of cherry tomatoes I have sweet million and I have sweet 100 so last year I have two kinds sweet million and sweet 100 but I've noticed that the sweet million is a little bit smaller but the sweet 100 is bigger bigger cherry tomato but it's bigger just so when you slice it I mean it's nice when you slice it so it's kind of for me I like it because it's a little bigger and when you, it dried when it dried it's also not really like tiny bit yeah so that's why I have this so this is um, cherry sun dried tomato with with virgin olive oil yeah so when you make a pizza also oh wow this is good for pizza so yeah you should try if you want it you should try it and you know you know what i mean and i got and i got also hey guys for all the Filipinos, you know okra, right? So, I have a um, sister-in-law. So, one year, I can't remember what which year is it, but one year when I when we are in when we are traveling in the winter time, so we always go to like South Mexico, somewhere in. Um, in Arizona, Phoenix, um, um, Yuma. So mostly we will, we always go to Yuma because of um, of our family. They always go there in the winter time. So uh, we have a party. So I, cause I put a lot of herbs, like all my canning. I just got it and I put in a in a plate, and then so so one time I put my um pickle okra because i love okra so i did it so i make pickle okra so wow it's let me tell you it's so funny because my pickle okra is the star they they said oh my god i never eat okra but i love your pickle okra so I was like, really? I was shocked because, you know, Filipino loves opera. I don't know all, but most of us Filipino, they like, we like opera, right? So yeah, so I have pickle opera. This is spicy pickle opera. So I have also one customer here. Uh, he is uh, like a black American or black Canadian, and he's a nice guy. I really and he came and bought all my honey so he's a nice guy he bought a lot of vegetables from me also so yeah he ordered also pick okra from me so so it's kind of it's kind of I, I just i'm happy uh, for sure yeah and and i have um well garlic so i have garlic pickled garlic you know guys garlic it's always good i mean it's always healthy garlic is healthy so well you know um i eat lots of garlic so i just thinking why we couldn't try to pickle it you know well <laughs> my imagination is crazy about all this stuff like about gardening not not other not other things but 
my my imagination is so crazy about doing things about all this vegetable that how can you save it that it's not getting bad right so i'm thinking like when i put in the fridge it's gonna grow and you know in the long run so what i did i mash it and i put it in the freezer so that i can use it also when i want to use it so and then one day my husband he came he came from the grocery store and he bought this pickle garlic i'm like probably we can do our own pickle pickle, pickle garlic so well pinterest <laughs> it helped me out so i went to pinterest trying to find this recipe uh, how to uh, pickle garlic so this recipe is not mine it's from pinterest so yeah i got it and then i save it on my thing and i well i just put in in my fruit stand and i it's people love that too they, they buy it so you know guys people especially now nowadays they really like homemade food so well i try that and um you know here in canada you need to they have a um see that um they have a a paper to you you, you need to you need to go to a seminar for how to handle properly for food safety yes that's right food safety yeah so yeah it's really important here in canada yeah so this one um pickled garlic i saw i sell this for nine dollars oh yeah it's seven now it's seven because this is yeah seven dollars yeah this one yeah so and of course i have also the spicy pickled beans yes this one is five dollars you know if some pe if you know guys if you drink <laughs> bloody mary or caesar this is the perfect combination of those drinks <laughs> i did i make this because of my own use because when we are you know especially when you're in mexico so when you're sitting on the beach or somewhere else in florida wherever that you know you drink a little bit of cocktail and have a friends around you so <laughs> this is good for those drinks let me tell you i enjoy so much that's why i'm like oh well i will make my own because i have when we are away in the in the winter time i have so many friends come to my to our place in um, in mexico or in yuma or in uh, phoenix or somewhere else and you know wherever we come we camping so we have friends come over you know when you are camping in the rv park you know so you meet a lot of people and of course it's a holiday every day in the winter time when you are away from your home right so so of course visitors like they call that happy hour at four o'clock so serve alcohol right so that what happened this is i make this i make this so that um I have my own every time I have visitor to come even here in Canada in the summertime right so that's why I have this and also I make this also for I want to sell also some in my fruit stand and vegetable stuff right so this one is five dollars oh my god where can you get that five dollars and look look at that hey eh? so yeah and I have also well the star of my the star of my fruit stand of course strawberry i have a strawberry i have strawberry jam also right so yeah i make my own strawberry yeah there you go uh i sell this for 750 dollars yes this one 
it's a homemade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So guys, um, that's it, I guess. Oh no, no, I still have one here. Well, I have one here. <laughs> this is string beans. Uh, we call this uh, in the Philippines is. Oh, I'm thinking. String beans is a sitao, right? Sitao, yeah. I have a sitao here, pickled sitao. A pickled beans, it's a little bit spicy. So I didn't try this yet. So um, I will try that later. I will take a video also that. And this one just for me. So I just um, tried this last year because I have a bunch of string beans so i don't know what to do and then i freeze a lot also for my own use in the winter time so i have that and i have uh, still have few left maybe uh, four pounds that time so i just like well i'm trying to pickle this one and then i'll try in the spring so i will try that maybe this summer so i'll take a video another another video to what is the taste of this um uh, Sitao um, pickle, right? So, thank you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, I'm gonna show you my um, I put somewhere else here. Yeah, I got a lot. <laughs> well, I'll show you a little bit. Yes, that's all they have that I show you earlier, but I have in the storage also. I'll show you. I'll show you. There you go. Yep. There. Yeah. This one here, <laughs> not including with the booze, <laughs> the alcohol in there. <sighs> there you go. Yeah. For sale. Mhm. Mm oh, that two nights. <laughs> myself i bought that in mexico yeah you know guys we always go to mexico yeah and i get also here a vodka. it's not for sale though <laughs> just that um a vodka a tequila mix uh what else um uh <laughs> decory decorate lots of strawberry and then a wine behind it and then margarita mix and then you know tequila <laughs> tequila for more <laughs> yeah so and i'll show you the other storage also storage no pantry <laughs> so i'll show you one i know it's probably it's it's not <laughs> Magolo dito. Ay, tinatamad ako today. Yeah. So, open natin to. <laughs> Nandito yung mga canning ko. Some of it. Woo, sorry guys. Parang ano. Parang ang daming uh... <laughs> agulo. <laughs> sorry guys. Ito na. Ito yung canning na sinasabi ko sa pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Not including this one. <laughs> there. That's all my salsa. That's salsa. And then... Pickle. Dill pickle. Pickled beans. Pickle okra. Bread and butter like that yeah so and also i have uh this one is my basil so i plant a lot of basil so i use also lots of basil so i dried it for my own use yes mm -hmm. i got spicy i have two kind of basil i have spicy basil and um a sweet basil yeah so yeah that's only it for today guys thank you for watching sa mga 
sa mga nagmamahal sa akin. Thank you so much guys for your support. And um, sa mga subscribers, thank you, thank you so much talaga. There you go. I'll show you again. Thank you, thank you guys. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you very much and um, hope you all well wherever you are. God bless you all and see you to see you on my next video. Bye bye.